thing I do, I wash my hands. For the ultrasound of the brain, we have found that one of the best presets for the resolution is the pediatric abdominal one. So you can choose the pediatric abdominal one and you can see that automatically the pen appears here. So the first step you would do is click on it so that your B appears by convention here. So first step, you will do the uh, coronal section. So you will place the pin of the probe on the left side of the baby. So that on the screen, the B, the little B, you know, correspond to the pin and will be uh, the left side, the left side of your baby. Which is the right side of your screen. Yeah. This is the right side of the screen. The B is here. And this corresponds to the pin who is situated towards the left side where the heart is. So you will take your pack of gel, open it and place it, you know, on the fontanelle of the baby. Then you will take your probe and you have to place it on the fontanelle of the baby where you have the best, the biggest opening of the fontanelle and you'll see the best view on your screen. If you go on the bone, you will see that you don't see so much brain. But if you're really where it's the most open, then you will see the most brain on, on your screen. To, to start, you will start with the frontal view. So you will have to angulate your, your, your probe towards the back so that you will see the front of the brain. And then slowly, you will recognize the different um, cuts that we discussed you know, in the PowerPoint. And then go back and angulate towards the front this time so that you can image the back of the brain. And this is Second step is the sagittal view. So set this time the pin go in the front of the baby. You place it again on the fontanelle. Uh, first view is like really in the midline of the baby. Again, you have to be on the fontanelle where it is the most open on your babies. If the baby has a lot of air, put a bit more gel. Uh, less air, less gel, and you need enough gel, you know, to have a good picture. Um, then, you know, for the uh, sagittal view, so you start by the midline view, then you angulate a, a little bit on, on the side, on the first side, to see the right side of the baby, and then you will angulate on the other side to see the left side of the baby. And you will have acquired your different view that you need for the brain ultrasound. So we are at the bedside of one of our patients here in the NICU uh, with parents who have graciously accepted uh, generously to be part of the experience for a little baby. Um, I have here my setup with my iPad who's secured and I have my uh, probe and I have already cleaned my hands, cleaned the probe and now I will be putting some ultrasound conducting gel in order to acquire some images. So we will be starting the ultrasound in order to acquire uh, as much as possible good images. I try to obtain uh, light in the room that is as dark as possible so that I'm able to uh, appreciate well the resolution and the contrast on the screen. Um, I will be using specifically for the cardiac ultrasound, the preset of pediatric abdomen actually, uh, to see if my images are good and if it, it's not good enough, I might switch to cardiac and then choose whichever preset uh, is giving me the best resolution. Just montre. Okay, so to do the brain, you select pediatric abdomen again. You have washed your hands, you've put the gel on your probe, and you uh, put the blue button here on the left of the baby. You have to go in over the fontanelle and make sure you get it symmetric because if you are too much like that, you will see your brain is not symmetric. If you're too much on the side, you don't see the brain because you are not over the fontanelle. So you need to find your fontanelle and then orient it so that your middle of the brain is straight. So this is the first view uh, with the orbits. Make sure it's symmetric and you go front. 
hand always redirect to the middle in case you move. So this is your orbit. Then the second one is your third ventricle. So always symmetric. Your third one is the hypocamp. hypocamp. The next one is the lateral ventricle. If we put the head of the baby, it's central, it's what a bit better. So first one is the ventricle, it's a bit asymmetric. and then the last one is the back of the brain like that um, that's it okay sagittal okay. view uh, you place this time the, the blue button in the front again you go well over your fontanel um, you should see your cerebellum and your corpus callosum you try to be really in the middle to see the most of the brain then you angulate on the side should see the lateral ventricle and then the smile that's the two pictures and then on the other side the same so go back well at your middle and then angulate to see the lateral ventricle and then the smile okay then these are the views that are going to be obtained on the patient that we just scanned so for the brain ultrasound, we've selected the pediatric abdominal preset. And then we started by obtaining the coronal view of the brain. And as mentioned by Dr. Wintermark, we want to make sure that the structures are in the midline, that we identify our two lateral ventricles. And from there, we can do an anterior sweep to get towards the orbit. Here on the image, we see that we adjusted uh, the depth in order to have a full brain. And now we're going towards uh, anterior uh, to see the frontal portion of the brain. And as we are going posteriorly, we will be seeing the uh, progressive appearance of the lateral ventricles and eventually going towards uh, the comp complete posterior part of the brain, which are the occiput. So we're back anterior here. And as we are moving slowly, towards the posterior aspect of the brain. We can appreciate uh, the lateral and the third ventricle and eventually continue towards uh, appreciating the posterior portion of the brain. We can then do uh, 90 degrees with the probe with the uh, pin facing the anterior to obtain the sagittal view of the brain. So here we have the sagittal view um, and we can appreciate uh, that we will be scanning first towards the left, sorry, towards the right of the patient, and eventually we go back to the midline, and then we scan towards the left of the patient in order to appreciate the uh, corpus callosums, in order to appreciate the lateral ventricles, and ensure that there's no big bleeds with, uh, within these ventricular cavity. Uh, in this patient in particular, we can see that uh, the ventricles are uh, actually uh, slim and they have uh, no signs of uh, intraventricular hemorrhage. And overall, uh, there seems to be a homogeneous pattern of the uh, white and gray matter uh, of this brain. We can also use the vascular preset, which is the carotid one, in order to obtain a color Doppler so that we can visualize the uh, color on the um, anterior cerebral artery on the sagittal plane, which is uh, exemplified here. Here you can see that the scale is at a velocity filter of 32 centimeters per second on the left-hand side. And actually what's coming towards the probe is, is blue in this particular uh, acquired view. Um, we can then use the pulse wave Doppler in order to obtain the velocities of blood flow within this uh, vessel. 
um, and that might need to um, further um, visualize the artery and then eventually to obtain uh, an accurate measurement of the pulse wave Doppler, which gives us a sense of the velocity of blood flow within the anterior cerebral artery, uh, which would allow us to measure the end diastolic and end systolic velocities. Here we get a very nice tracing. So we're gonna wipe baby now gently. So you wanna use some of these cloths that are not abrasive, that are very gentle. So you can remove a first amount of uh, gel from the baby's chest and baby's head. Oh, sorry, baby, sorry. And then you throw this and then you wanna take Another set that you're gonna take some water, not too cold and not too warm, but just a good temperature to be comfortable. These gels are hydrosoluble, so uh, they will be um, be removed very easily with some of the of the water, and then you can do the same on the head, gently. And then after that, you want to use some of them that are dry to remove the extra gel and then we're finished